Hi ladies, it's Penny. Um, I've not been on for a couple of weeks, have I? I've not been able to sit in the um, craft room comfortably, so I've been doing quite a bit downstairs with me embroidery and that. Anyway, I wanted to show you first um, the cushion. Do you remember the cushion crazy quilting I was doing? Well, it's now, whoops sewn onto a cushion. Told you I'd do it, didn't I? Eh? I'm very happy with it. Very pleased with the way it came out. I've just run it round for you. I know you've seen it. I've just added little bits of extra. Um, just little bits of extra beading and everything. But yeah, I'm really happy the way it's turned out and uh, and I must say I'm, I am enjoying my little beading work and embroidery work and things like that. So, there's my cushion. What else have I been up to? I've been up to, hold on, I'm just going to let you look at um, Adam when he was a baby. I turn round. I tried to do this on the desk, and it's um, it's too light. The light's coming in, so I thought I'd have a go at bookmarks. <laughs> uh, I saw something similar on Pinterest. She's a floppy dolly, so this is the first one I did, but she's a bit big, but. As it was done rarely for Chloe, and she still reads like big books, fairy books, and all that. Um, it would do for her, lovely, won't it? Eh? So, all I did was, I had a template, wherever it's gone. I did have it. No, it's gone missing now. So, I just cut myself out a very simple template um, on cardboard, and it's just like sheeting material like a pillowcase or a sheet I've not padded it or anything just two pieces put together and then like a triangle shape for the dress also in by hand a little bit of trim around the bottom legs and I decided you could have felt booties a little bit of lace around the cuffs two buttons where her arms are Attached. She's waving. She's waving. Look. And um, lots of nice brown wool for her hair. So that's one. So you know me, I can't do things by halves, can I? Or, 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 or just one. Oh, done. It's very awkward. I wonder if I can. Ooh, where's that tin gun? Hold on. Hold on, ladies. Hold on, ladies. Right, let's see if we can do this properly. So, do, so, do, so, 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 so. I made a couple more. Ah, this is like a mini one of uh, of a big sister. for my stand what I used last time but I wasn't very clever with that either was I <laughs> anyway so this one I couldn't get a face right at first so I've ended up putting a little bit of felt over the material and then drawing a face in after it just wouldn't go right for me so this one's got a little pocket a little bit of um, Tassel around her skirt and little pink shoes. Lace where I could and little buttons for her arms. And that's the back of her. Sweet! That was her. Uh, what, 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 what? Oh well, in my book. Yeah. So, when she's in your book, there she goes. You can look at the tap. Oops. Where are you? I'm done. I'm here to put the camera. There. 
And then she could sit like that in the boot. I think they're quite fun. I've done a couple, as I say, and I thought, well, Chloe might like one or two for her um, her friends. So we're going round there tomorrow because today's a very special day. Yesterday was a special day. It was my Adam's 13th, a teenager now. And um, my lovely son is 40 today. <gasps> it doesn't seem possible. But it is. I've double checked. Yep, he's 40 today. God, it was a hot summer, that. 1976. Very hot. Not very good month for being pregnant in, I tell you. Was it Mrs? No. See, you could make these as puppets, couldn't you? Eh? <laughs> this one? Um, a purple one. I've given a little vase of flowers. It was just a little applique and I've coloured it in with, um, what do you call it, alcohol ink pens. Uh, this one's got little pink shushus. Um, I've done buttons, little flat buttons, uh, purple buttons. And this one's got blonde hair because she's got that lovely hair I got in a parcel uh, from Ruth Barr. Courtesy of Anne, who used to be Earl's Earl Z100, but it's now it's only me. But we know who it is. It's Anne. I know who it is. She's going incognito, I think. Anyway, that's Dolly. So I might do one or two more because they're quite fun to make. Take some time though, all by hand. Then I went on to a bit of a normal kind of. Um, bookmark I've seen a few on Pinterest uh, f you know felt bookmarks and that I think I copied a couple of the designs I think that was one design I copied so and this one I tried to do you know that what do you call it blanket stitch as well around the outside but um I don't know if I'm very good at that. But it's rustic looking, isn't it? So it's a nice bookmark, though. And then I think this one, another two birds, slightly thinner one. Um, these are just felt shapes, little felt wings. And then I've done the legs in, you know, in brown embroidery. So... I stuck a little heart and then I thought I'd do a silhouette of a little girl it's meant to be a girl anyway and she's holding up balloons with um, hearts on it the hearts come in like a strip you know like ribbon a whole strip of ribbons I just cut them in into pieces the string is just uh, embroidery thread loosely put on and then I've just done a little tacking stitch over it to keep it in place and a couple of little flowers at the bottom so um, so that's my three other types and then I thought I'd do a pussy cat one <laughs> with googly eyes this one so this is just a, a shape of a cat's head, as you would. And then I've given it a long tail at the bottom, to come out the bottom of the book. Uh, gave him googly eyes, just stuck on. Put the little felt bits here and there. And then embroidery floss for his whiskers. And made him a little bow tie out of some material. So that's cat number one. Cat number two ended up like this. Googly eyes again, and um, it did went at the little bottom. You've got a fish, <laughs> and these are meant to be the bones, the skeleton of the fish, and it's a bit of glue on it because I have had to undo it a couple of times because I couldn't get it right. Um, this one's got lovely googly eye on that side. Look, and. Uh, I gave him a pink ribbon, as you can see, a bit of the pink there. 
and it didn't look right at all and I didn't have um, this colour pink, the cerise pink um, which I can blame Ruth Barr for not sending me you know the exact right colour that I need but <laughs> in the end I decided on this purple which seemed alright but then of course I couldn't find him a bow tie but I found this red one so it's <laughs> So he's got that. I tried to make one out of this, but it's too wide. So you never have exactly what you want, do you? So that looks very good in the book as well, as you can imagine, with the cat at the top. And then dangling at the bottom, he's got his fish. So that's my... So that's my um, artistic endeavours for this week. Um, I found... I wanted to say, has, um, do, does everybody know about um, oh, Elaine? Elaine, who is Silly Eels, in Australia. She's doing this lovely competition. Um, and it's, it, I think they're calling it Twinches as well, but this is Twinches mainly with cardboard as opposed to Sonia's Twinches, which are all about embroidery. What you have to do is a piece of A5, and on that A5 you can fit six two-by-twos, um, a sturdy card or chipboard onto this piece of paper. And... The theme is Alice in Wonderland, and in fact, I'm only about four miles, if that, I'm not even four miles, from where um, the writer, Lewis Carroll, um, was born and where he wrote. It's just um, there's a, like a, an exhibition in the local church there. So... And, of course, we're living in Cheshire. We do have the Cheshire cats. <laughs> um, so that's what the theme is, which I think is lovely. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I have said I'll, I'll enter. Everybody must enter by entering their name at the bottom of Elaine's video on this and by the 16th of July. And on the 17th of July... She's going to match everybody up with a partner. And then that will be your partner who you're going to send your six twinches, which are on a, a piece of A5 card or paper. So it sounds like a nice, fun thing to do. So I've said I'll join and I'm racking my brains as of this minute. Uh, I can't remember what the the date is. It's sometime in August. Um, I think it is, anyway, the beginning of August. But the most important dates to remember at the moment is the 16th to put your name down and the 17th is when you, you'll find out who your partner is. And I think Elaine said it'd be best to just the partners ex exchange addresses. Otherwise, it's it's too complicated for Elaine. It was too complicated for anybody, not just Elaine, I don't mean... <laughs> it's unlike Elaine wouldn't, oh, Elaine wouldn't be able to cope with that, would she? No, no it's... Um, yeah. <laughs> what am I going on about? Yes, it's just better that way, isn't it? And like she said, we all know the cost of posting and all that, so, you know, nobody expects loads of prezzies to go with it or anything it is merely like a little challenge swap um, to exchange your ideas on how you do your um, artistic twinches so I really wanted to say that so get as many people involved as possible for Elaine's little challenge and um, and and I think that's about it at the moment ladies I don't think I've been up to to very much other than that except that I will be coming back because there's something else I'd like to discuss with you okay ladies thank you for watching um, this little man's my grandson 
when he was, I don't know, he was about three there, he stood in front of, I'm sat in the passenger seat of the car and he stood in front, most probably having a bit of a picnic with us and, uh, <laughs> and laughing at me. Yeah, he was a merry soul, he still is. It was his birthday yesterday and he took his girlfriend apparently to the pictures. Mmm, 13, eh, yes. Anyway, I'm going to hear all about it tonight, even if I have to um, have my hands around his throat. He will tell Nana all about it. And so he's coming tonight and we're going to have a birthday tea and an open prezies and... I really look forward to it. And then tomorrow, we're going to celebrate my son's birthday. Um, and we're going to all meet at the pub, like you do. And then we're going back to his house. And he's going to put a barbie on, if he's not too drunk. <laughs> if he is too drunk, it'll be somebody else putting the barbie on. <laughs> anyway... It would be lovely. So thank you very much, ladies, for watching, and and thank you for uh, for all you if you for all your comments. You've not commented yet, but I do appreciate you when you do comment and even just watch. I've noticed I have got a few more subscribers, and I'll be talking about that in my next little um, video with you. So. I've not been around, as I say, in the craft room or doing videos, but I've enjoyed watching each and every one of you um, giving me inspiration in lots of different ways. So, and I've not been idle, have I? I've been sat downstairs um, on my comfy chair and doing embroidery. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.